Hey guys, welcome back to Mad About Skin. According to a report I just read, the best-selling skincare product of 2023 so far is the Cosirex Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I think that also holds the record for the longest skincare product title too. Now, Snail Mucin has been around for some time, but it's definitely having another moment in the spotlight. And the Cosirex Essence is the one that's flying off the shelves. It's out of stock in a lot of locations because people have been buying multiple units and using it two to three times a day on their skin, singing its praises. Now, Snail Mucin has a lot of benefits I'm going to talk about in this video, but there's also some things you need to be aware of before you reach for this product and apply it to your skin. Ultimately, it's not going to be for everyone, and so I want to make some alternatives. So, you know, some recommendations for those that can't tolerate Snail Mucin or are looking for something different. By the end of this video, I want to hopefully empower you guys to make the right decision when it comes to your own skincare routine, be it Snail Mucin or an alternative. We're going to explore everything, so sit back, relax, let's talk the Cosarex Snail Mucin Essence. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what your own thoughts are when it comes to this ingredient. Sound off in the comment section below with your snail mucin before and after experiences. Whatever those experiences happen to be, if you enjoy this style of content where we take an ingredient and we really do a deep dive into it, let me know by reaching down and giving the video a thumbs up and a like. This is the best way of supporting me as a content creator, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So snail mucin, what is it? What does it do? Well, it comes by different names. Snail mucin, snail secretion, snail slime. But fundamentally, it is the secretion that snails emit as they crawl across the surface of the earth. Now, don't worry, people aren't following snails behind collecting all this up. It's actually harvested in an artificial way. You can you, type this into YouTube and see exactly how it's done. But fundamentally, the snails are taken and they have some pressure and some heat applied to them. And this encourages them to secrete this slime, almost like a defense mechanism. And then as they crawl over a grate, the secretion falls below that. I'm going to come on to my thoughts on that later in the video. But if, like me, you feel a bit like grossed out by the whole thing, don't worry, you're not on your own. However, as gross as it kind of seems, snail mucin does absolutely have some proven benefits. So first up, it's a wonderful hydrator. There's also compounds within snail mucin which will add to the hydration levels in the skin. And it's also got a high quantity of hyaluronic acid, which as a humectant will draw in and retain moisture within itself, preventing dehydration, but also plumping out the skin to give a little juicy plump and also some great anti-aging benefit. Beyond just the hydration, some studies have shown that if used consistently, snail mucin can actually suppress the rate of excess pigment production. It's not as effective as things such as tranexamic acid or azelaic acid, but it can be used alongside these to just dial up the efficacy. Use it consistently and you'll find over time you'll have a more even skin tone. Finally, there's a lot of studies into snail mucin and its benefits on wound healing. So this is great if you've got a cut, a scratch or a graze. Applying some snail mucin consistently to the area will speed up that heal process and cut down on the overall heal time. A lot of people don't realise that actually breakouts and acne are kind of a wound on the skin. They act in a very similar way. So applying snail mucin to an open breakout can absolutely help reduce the overall heal time. Something that I definitely experienced when I experimented with this ingredient on my adult acne. So with all these great benefits, it's not hard to see why snail mucin is a bestseller. And I think with the Cosirex snail mucin essence, the reason that this one is gravitated towards versus any of the other options is because it's got a super high concentration of that snail mucin. So if you want this ingredient in your skincare routine, you really want to reach for a product that has it in a high concentration. So you're getting all the great benefits, which is definitely what Cosirex do. It's lightweight. I'd say it's probably one of the least sticky of all the snail mucins I've tried, so you get a better user experience. And like I say, if you Google um, snail mucin Cosrx, you'll see just about everyone fangirling about how amazing it is. Now, I think the problem with off of ingredients going viral and products, you know, taking center stage on platforms like YouTube, TikTok and Instagram is it only tells part of the story. People saying how amazing it is for their skin. But as with anything in skincare, snail mucin isn't going to work for everyone. And in this section of the video, I just want to throw out a few cautions, things to be aware of before you apply this to the skin. Now, first up, it is absolutely possible to be allergic or sensitive to snail mucin. I think people think it's natural. It comes from nature. So you can't be allergic to it. You absolutely can be. You can be allergic to any single ingredient in your skincare routine, which is why it's really important to patch test any new product before you introduce it to your wider face. 
However, studies have shown that actually snail mucin has a higher allergic prevalence than some other ingredients. So whilst it's going to be fine for a whole suite of people, just be mindful that there is a higher risk of an allergic reaction to this and say some other ingredients that you might be using. There's a couple of reasons for this, but as a general rule, I'd say if you're allergic to shellfish or mollusks, stay well clear of snail mucin. This is something that I see a lot of dermatologists recommend. Also, a lot of people say that if you're allergic to bed bugs or you have a dust mite allergy, then avoid snail mucin because you'll often find that people that are allergic to dust mites, bed bugs, will also be allergic to snail mucin too. So that's just a couple of things to call out and be aware of. Just because something comes from nature, it doesn't mean that you can't be sensitive or allergic to it. And let me know if that's been your experience because you know, let's get that conversation going in the comments section below. Um, I think sometimes it is a little bit obvious, but it's also worth stating that if you're vegan, living a plant-based lifestyle, or you're looking to eliminate animal products in your skincare routine, snail mucin isn't for you. There's a whole debate online about how the snails are harvested. Is it cruel? Is it not? It depends what your take is on all of this. Some brands will say, absolutely, it's not cruel at all. The snails are bred specifically for this process, and they're harvested, and they don't die in that process. This is absolutely the case in most instances, though again, I would read up on how your preferred brand actually harvests before making a call on that. Ultimately though, some people think subjecting snails to heat, the pressure to, in order to extract this mucin, isn't the best way of treating them, which is something that I personally believe that it's all gonna come down to personal interpretation. So which is why I tend to avoid it and go for some of the other options. It's totally up to you, but definitely bear that in mind before you just reach out and grab this essence and apply it liberally to the skin. Finally, think texture. Snails, the secretion, it's sticky, it's slimy. As a result, most high concentration snail mucin essences and serums will be a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky on the skin. Some people don't mind that because it gives great results and happy to kind of work through that. Others, myself included, just find it a little bit cringe and I don't like the texture and that's absolutely fine. There is no right or wrong in this. Do what feels good when it comes to applying your skincare. For me, I always find whatever snail mucin serum I reached for, it felt sticky, it felt tacky on the skin and it just wasn't for me. I couldn't get my mind past the whole coming from snails, the slime element, which definitely translate to the texture of a lot of these. This is something that just happens in my head, but you know, it might also apply to you. So if you can sample any of these products before you buy it, definitely worth trying them out to see that it's a texture that you actually like. So for a lot of people, snail mucin could be a holy grail and a great addition to your skincare routine. But if you want to try something different or you don't want to reach for snail mucin either because you know of an allergic or sensitivity reaction, the way the snails are treated or the texture, there are some other options on the market. One of my favorites is this. This is the V Green Alcohol Free Nature Mucin Toner. This is actually a vegan alternative to snail mucin derived from yams, which actually delivers the exact same outcomes in terms of hydration, plumping the skin, over time fading hyperpigmentation and really giving the skin everything it needs to just be super hydrated and juicy looking. It's so good. In fact, having used this and tried the Benton snail mucin, the Cosrx snail mucin, I think this actually performs better than those in terms of plumping and hydrating the skin. Um, I don't live a vegan lifestyle, but if you are looking for a vegan alternative or a snail free alternative, this is a really great option. The reason I use it is I just think it works better and I'm all about that performance. This is definitely a holy grail that you might want to try. It's also ridiculously affordable. So this is a fraction of the cost of the Cosrx one here in the UK. Of course, prices could differ internationally, which is why I've left the links below. Use that to find out the exact price wherever you live. But yeah, this is a great snail-free alternative that delivers the exact same outcomes, but without that slime sensation. And I do find the texture of this is beautiful. It's much more lightweight. It goes on so well. And what you could do, if it's your preference, is you could decant some of this into a spray bottle, use it as a mist too, because it's lightweight enough that you could absolutely get a nice dispersal on any mist. I love this product and like I say I recommend it to all my vegan friends but also say even if you're not living a vegan lifestyle maybe give this a go because I think you might just get better results. Another great alternative would be to reach for a glycerin serum or toner. So Heist mentioned earlier that one of the main reasons why snail mucin is so hydrating is it's got a large quantity of hyaluronic acid within it. Hyaluronic acid though isn't my preferred humectant. 
Studies show that glycerin actually works better as a humectant, gives more plumping action, and is generally better tolerated on the skin than hyaluronic acid. So it's for that reason that I think glycerin could be a great option as an alternative to snail mucin. Now, one of my favorite glycerin serums is the Niche Beauty Lab Pure Glycerin Serum that actually has a 15% concentration of this humectant. This will plump like no other serum you've ever tried. It literally just like soaks up all the moisture, plumps itself out, and you will have that baby soft, super dewy skin within about 30 seconds. It's amazing, and I paid 12 pounds for it. So it's super affordable, a little goes a long way, and one of my absolute favorite, favorite serums when it comes to plumping, hydrating, calming, and soothing. If you want to go even cheaper, one of my favorite glycerin toners is this. This is the Boots Traditional Skincare Glycerin and Rose Water Toner. So this has that glycerin, it's also got some rose water to calm and soothe. One pound, 98. Doesn't get cheaper than that. You can decant this again into that mist bottle if that's your preference. But this is a great glycerin based toner that will plump and hydrate. Or you can go for the Niche Beauty Lab if you want to go for it in serum form. It's really up to you. But I think glycerin in a high concentration is a great alternative to the hyaluronic acid that you'll see in snail mucin. I don't want this video to come across as negative in any way. If you love the Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence, continue to use it. My motto in skincare is use what works for you. However, I just don't like to see people saying, you have to try this. This is game changing. It's amazing online without also sharing that it might not just be suitable for everyone out there. It will depend on your own stance when it comes to the snails, on your own level of skin sensitivity and any allergic reaction that you might have. Always patch test thoroughly, no matter what product you're introducing to your routine, and then take it from there. I think snail mucin can deliver great benefits to a whole host of people, but it's not the only holy grail ingredient out there. Hopefully in this video, I've been able to share with you two alternatives that might just have a greater appeal to you. Whatever your thoughts, sound off in the comments section below, and wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.